Hi, it's Chris from Leicester Drones and I'm really, really happy today to be with Dan from Unique and he's going to talk us through a few of the main points of the H850 RTK. It's a brand new drone from Unique. Really pleased, Dan is going to show us a, a few bits and pieces on it. Thanks very much, Dan. Yeah, well, uh, happy to have you. Brilliant. So, new product. Yeah. Yeah, so um, so Unique had decided to sort of like dive a bit further into the sort of the commercial mar market, really, um, stepping away a little bit more from the consumer side. Uh, and this is um, this is the new H850. Uh, as you can see, there's going to be some certain things that are going to kind of um, cross over with the uh, with the 520e, uh, um, yeah. which is uh, sort of like a bit more of a smaller commercial machine now, because now now we, we have we have this, but. Uh, uh, going up in scale, we've we've seen uh, a larger flight time, a much better flight time. Uh, we've seen a higher lift capacity. This machine can lift up to three kilos. Um, so, uh, and, and obviously, you know, being a, uh, being a, a hex, you still have the redundancy of the uh, 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 the, the proper yeah. redundancy. Yeah. Um, one thing that will be a little bit different, noticeably over the air, the 520 is we're running a coax on the on the two side arms. So we're running a sort of an up and over. Yeah. Um, that's still, really good. so they're underneath. Yeah, so, so the, these are these are uh, uh, running underneath, yeah. mainly for efficiency reasons. Yeah. Obviously, there's uh, we wanted to, you, you, what you want is the props that out of the way for for for, uh, for the camera, so we don't see any props into the camera, which is why we try and most companies now are trying to lift them quite high at the front, yeah. and then running the coax on the sides, and then obviously the props at the back are, are, are you know are running very very similar. Okay. But we're seeing a, a really good flight time. Yeah. We've done a lot of testing in the UK. Uh, we've obviously got the manufacturer specifications, but with with uh, We've um, uh, proven that in the UK, so we're seeing approximately 55 minutes, uh, you know, around about approximately 55 yeah. minute flight time. That's um, cool, isn't it? Yeah. Running dual uh, batteries at the back, so if I if I take the aircraft yeah. and spin it round, um, it's a very simple battery lock system. Yeah. In, in order to you just twist here, and then the batteries just pull out from the side. Wow. That's right. Nice. So running dual batteries, yeah. they are intelligent. Um, and uh, so the aircraft won't take off. It has uh, has sensors in there, so it won't yeah. take off if the battery is not inserted correctly, yes. or if you just yeah. power the machine yeah. on with one, it won't take off. Yeah. So they just slide in, and it's just a twist lock. That's so nice. nice and simple. Yeah. Um, we do have come in quite a few things. The the, the aircraft is launched compatible with the uh, X series of cameras. Yeah. So, so if you all the H520E. All the H520E cameras. Yeah. So if you have an H520E and you yeah. wanted something with a bigger uh, lift capacity, a longer flight time, yeah. um, it even runs the same data pilot configuration, the, the newer version of data pilot. Yeah. The flight controller is the newer PX4 flight controller. Right. So it's the PX4 Pro flight controller it's running, okay. uh, which is obviously compatible with Q ground control. So if you want to do any mission planning through Q ground control, mm -hmm. you can you can do G to G missions, so ground to ground missions. You can run. You can run all the new features on Q ground. Yeah. Uh, it's all wirelessly synced with the uh, with the new T1 controller, which yeah. we'll talk about in a bit. Sure. But the uh, so you can wirelessly sync all your missions. You can yeah. do your mission planning on a PC desktop, and then sync it wirelessly, and then run your missions, which makes it available to do sort of like G to G missions uh, in the office, and then email those missions over in yeah. that certain file format, upload them in the field, and fly. So if you're doing that sort of um, uh, if you have guys out in the uh, uh, pilots out in the field and you're doing your mission planning at sort of a base, and then you can email the missions out and stuff, yeah. makes all that sort of stuff yeah. compatible. Mm -hmm. um, lots of weird and wonderful things coming for the aircraft, yeah. uh, which we'll talk about in a minute. Okay. The way the aircraft um, uh, folds down is very similar to, to some of the other aircraft you see on the market. It's just a twist yeah. lock. That's good. Uh, yeah. and the same for the uh, for the undercarriage. So you just twist. Yeah. Okay. And the uh, the, and the the legs will. The legs just pull out from the bottom. Yeah, yeah. So it assembles very, very easily, very quickly. Um, this, uh, it's nice. It feels nice as well when you hold it, the carbon fibre and the mould in. Yeah, I mean, it there was. Quality. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there was a was a, um, in the past uh, a, a lot of drones, not just from Unique, but a lot of drones had that kind of plasticky feel. Yeah. But when you yeah. move up into sort of the more commercial drones, they. Um, they, they have that sort of, you know, a lot of this is carbon fibre, yeah. uh, a lot of it's sort of plastic mould and composite for, for signal reasons. Yeah. Um, so, uh, just to talk about some of the th things that are sort of on the aircraft now, we're running, so we, as we said, it's compatible with all the current X connectors. Yeah. So, if you have an H520E, yeah. all the cameras will be compatible. Brilliant. We do have a 
uh, dual payload coming, uh, for, uh, um, bracket coming for this. So okay. as you can see underneath, we're connected through this port, this USB-C port right here. Okay, yeah. But there's another one right here. So when that bra can, uh, bracket comes out, yeah. it'll just be screw on and we can plug dual payloads in. Really? So you can run an, uh, an E90 and a T30. Yeah. Um, you can run dual payloads, which is uh, nice and which is nice. So you've got the Z30 on there now. Z30 on there now, yeah. So um, and like I say, the aircraft has um, up to a three kilo payload. So we've tested that. Yeah. We were getting around about thirty to thirty-five minutes. Um, you know, when, when, when companies talk about flight time, it's it's all due to it's all. It also, you have to think about what you want to run the battery percentages down to. So, so yeah. certain guys are going yeah. to run, to, yeah. will be happy yeah. running to down to 10%, yeah. and certain guys will be like, no, I'm going to run to 30%. Yeah. So when you talk about payloads, you have to yeah. be careful on what people want to run run their, yeah. their batteries down to. Your own um, standards, your own flight manual. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So a lot of the companies, when they when they advertise a flight time, will be down to sort of like a critical battery. Yeah. You know, so like when a car tests its MPG, it's in perfect synopsis, yeah. you know. They, they, don't, they don't exist. No, they don't exist. The weather, the wind. Exactly. They're yeah, on an yeah, oval, yeah. oval circuit. It's like, yeah, so it's yeah, ideal yeah. conditions, and it's very similar yeah. to, to when drone companies talk about flight time. So you, yeah. you, nine times out of ten, you're not going to see the flight times that they advertise. So we no. like to prove them here. Mm. So mm. with the... Does it doesn't mean you have to do it. No. Because no. it says it does it. doesn't mean you have to fly it that long. Exa fly exactly. Fly to what you think is, is safe. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It, and it's like how you... How you want to run your drone and how you want to use it. So, we we, we go down. To, we test it to thirty percent, then down to automatic return to launch, and then down to critical battery. They're the three right. kind of milestones that we test it to. Yeah. So, uh, so when we, we ran this with uh, the E ninety X and three kilo, uh, two and a half kilos underneath it was roughly around about three kilos, and we saw I think I've got the numbers around about thirty two minutes. Right. Um, running just the uh, the the E ninety X, yeah. we're seeing around about fifty five minutes to yeah. an hour. Wow. So really good. Yeah. So really long time. It, yeah. So you know you are seeing sort of some really good numbers, yeah. some really decent flight times, and then obviously when you're running two battery, two cameras, yeah. you you know you not only got the, the 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 extra weight, you've also got the power consumption of running two cameras as well. Yeah, so of course, well, yeah. because that bracket has not been released yet, we can't can't we can't see yeah. that. And there's a bracket goes on top. Yes, right? as far as I'm aware, jump? there's going to be a bracket, there's going to be a camera mount on top. As yeah. you can see, there's loads of uh, there's loads of COM ports up here that we can use. Um, that we yeah. can we can run weird and wonderful yeah. things off. The the things that we know are coming That's from well, there's USB C, uh, loads of stuff on there. But as far as what we know in the UK, we know there's definitely a speaker system coming. Yeah. We know that there's a, a 48 megapixel camera coming, and we know that there's a spotlight coming. Um, so wow. we know those things are going to be available for the aircraft, yeah. uh, which is going to give it a lot of, you know, it's going to give it a lot of, it's going to meet a lot of use cases. Yeah, yeah, very versatile, search and rescue, yeah. police use, all sorts of things. Yeah, so on. there's there's loads of stuff coming um, in its base package. Like I say, if you already own a a a, a, a 520e, you can use all, lots of different cameras and That's stuff like cool. that. But. We love how unique and modular like that. Yeah, and it's also when you look at the T1 controller as well. So yeah, yeah. where do we put that? Yeah, so down there. What what they've done is we've the Unique have kept these the same kind of mentality as they had with the SD16 into in the terms of integrating the um, the the, sc the screen in with the controller. I know other companies like DJI have done that, but it's like an aftermarket thing. They're like in their their, their smart controller is an accessory you buy, but yeah. this come yeah. the T1 will come as standard with this. Yes. Um, so again, loads of uh, loads of different weird and wonderful uh, ports on top. You know, oh, with the yeah. three and a half mil jack, the USB-C, yeah. the integrated um, uh, SD card, and your HDMI out. Oh, okay. So it's um, it is Android based um, in terms of uh, if we come back out here. Okay, you can see it is an Android Android based tablet that's running Data Pilot as a as, as an app, okay. uh, as, a, as like an embedded app. So when you turn the controller on, but everything is is is, is built into the transmitter. Um, the one cool thing is it's uh, swappable batteries. Yeah. So whereas a lot of other companies, you know, when the battery's done, you mm -hmm. you, you have to charge, but we can sure. we can run different batteries. Uh, and there's also different ports running on here as well. That's uh, that's um that's that's very useful. Mm -hmm. The Stand, love it or hate it. It doesn't yeah. seem to get in the way when I've been flying it. I don't, I don't kind of, I don't notice it's there, yeah. and it's quite handy to stand it up straight after. So that's Brilliant. quite, yeah. quite a nice, nice bright screen. Good yeah, it's a, it again. it's a high bright screen. I don't know, yeah. I, off the top of my head, I don't know the nits of the screen, okay. but it is a high bright screen, and I've been using it 
the last couple of weeks we've had crazy sunshine, as I'm sure you'll be aware, and, yeah. and I've been using it in the sun, and it's been yeah. fantastic. Okay. Um, the whole aircraft and the transmitter are IP rated, so yeah. we can use it in the rain. I think the drone is IP45, right? And I think the transmitter is IP maybe IP56 or something okay. like that. I'll have to double, the please. Like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So when you're flying a bit of drizzle. Yeah, you exactly. Carry on, get You've got the job. boots around the, tra around the, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. around here. So, um, we have yeah. tested it in the rain, but it comes with that IP rating. So, um, looks it, nice. It, it looks, looks good. Rain. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Yeah, it's, it, it, great it looks, it looks very purposeful. Um, flies very similar to, to the 520E, so if you are upgrading, yep. you're going to notice a lot of differences, in the, a lot of similarities in the flight characteristics, as in a lot of similarities with the, um, if you are aware of Data Pilot, you'll see that it's, for, it's, it's the same thing. Okay. So, if yep. you're a company that are running 520s, and yep. you want to upgrade to this as well, yep. The, yep. The, the, for your pilots to transfer over, it's not going to be a lot of training, it's not going to be a lot of differences. Yeah. Flies very, very similar, flies very nice. One of the main differences is we have a sport mode, oh, so okay. which we don't have on the 520E. Right. So the 520E is 14 meters per second maximum speed, and we have 20 meters per second on this on the on the 850. So a little bit a little bit difference in yeah. terms of in terms of speed. Um, we know team mode is going to be an option on this as well, so you okay. can run run team mode yeah. on this aircraft. Um, but yeah, and lots of stuff coming for it. Yeah, there yeah. seems to be yeah. a lot of stuff that's going to be um, going to be that's going to be available for this aircraft mm -hmm. to make it meet a lot of use cases. Yeah. As you said before, it's RTK. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be compatible with a couple of different base stations. Okay. Um, yeah. And some other not really nice features is it comes standard with the with the with the multi charger. Yeah, I really like that. I'm really impressed. So, is it right? You can do four batteries at once. Yeah. So it's uh, you can run four batteries, uh, and each each channel will run ten amps. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the the charge time is, nice. is is good. And the great thing is that we can run we can run four main batteries yep. and two transmitter batteries all charged at the same time. Wow! The the screen gives you the status, yep. Yep. gives you the battery health, uh, yep. the balance, and, and and everything on, yep. on 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 there that you're going to need really to make it nice and easy. That is um, pretty sure you can use it as a storage case or a travel case as well. So you can plug your yep. batteries in, close yep. the case, and you can use it to transport the batteries as well. Really nice. Um, so, so that can... comes that comes standard. Yeah, uh, which is which is a really nice feature. Mm, it's good. Mm. So you can do that. Yeah, so there we go. It comes, it comes there you go. Chris, 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 if I can do it. Yeah, Chris can you do it. You're can. laughing. That's really good. So you're not lugging that around because no. you've got the main case for the drone there. Also, to mention the case as well, the props are foldable, so you might yeah. not see that pick that up in the video. Got so we don't have to remove the props, or they don't come off and on. We yeah. just fold the props, arms fold down, and everything fits in the case. So yeah. actually, the the sort of the case to air time, yeah, uh, 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 if you want to yeah, call yeah. it that, sort yeah. of out of the case to in the air is yeah. very very short. It's very yeah. very minimal. Yeah. Um, your props stay on. You put your arms exactly. Put your legs on. Out it comes. Put your it'll, payload on. It will it will come out on the ground. Arms up. You know, yeah. power it on. And uh, the, the boot up times, because it's running the new flight control, they're very, very fast to boot up as well. Real? Um, okay. That's really good. Really appreciate you giving us a quick overview. Yeah, and yeah, no problem. Lots of really good features and benefits with that. Uh, are we having a fly today? Absolutely, yeah. We're Brilliant. Just, we're all charged up. Okay. We knew you were coming, so we'll take it out for a spin. Okay. Thanks very much. Thanks, Dan. No worries.